Should I just set up a donation goal? Buying respawn to fix the game. That way I can beg for money, but it's also like sarcastic. But I'll still be earning money and begging for it. So it's like perfect, don't you think? Kill the purple armor guy. You get a purple badge. Oh. Be careful, that guy. That menu glitch literally lost me all my health. So stupid. Menu glitch, yeah, when you get shot and the menu closes and opens automatically because you're like, either, I don't know why it happens. When like, you're not even clicking anything and the menu closes on shot, like being shot and then it opens again. You have to like spam escape. Hopefully it removes it. It's only looting. I don't, I don't even know why that's like a thing. Spam tab, not escape. No, because if you spam tab, then it'll, uh, you click it and it'll open your actual menu. Your inventory menu, which is worse than opening your escape menu. It's just stupid uh, that they literally create a game in Source Engine, and the people who don't even understand like the basics of the engine, or have probably never really played a Source Engine game before, don't understand the vast history of like how customizable it is for performance and just like making the game what you want. Quake, the one of the highest skill cap games of all time, and like one of the most respected games for like competitive play. They allow the customization of the game to be that each player can customize it so that they can focus on what matters. The game, improving, being better, not stupid textures. Like they can have the game look like actual fucking Minecraft if they want because the only thing that matters is how well they play, right? It's how good, it's how well they can execute their play. That's what matters, right? And I feel like that should be the basis. But people argue that it's unfair that I have a rotating radar because you can't set that setting up. What the f was that no reg? Holy shit. That was insane. I don't think rotating radar is unfair. It's literally just personal preference and available to everyone with a quick Google search. But some people actually think that's unfair. You know what's worse? We usually don't have to care about what Reddit says, but the developers literally, they don't, they listen to their community in a way where they listen to the part of the community that reinforces their already existing ideas instead of just listening to their community to try to make their game better. They restrict their ideas to the ones that they have already thought of and look for validation within the community that fi they find on Reddit. That is stupid. That's why Reddit being like this fucking just dumbass like bandwagon on the stupidest shit is really unhealthy for the game. Nineteen shots in a dream. Wait, did the Bangalore die? I guess not. Oh my god, good skin. Let's fucking go. Two in there. And the fact that somehow they're they're nerfing Lifeline and Wraith. They're not buffing Mirage because his win rate looks good. Now I'm about to say a, a hot take, where if a respawn 
balances Apex Legends. Actually, if any game balances their game based on the competitive community while respecting the casual community, most of the competitive community's changes won't actually affect the casual community. It, they, it won't affect them. As long as there's a, like a form of matchmaking so they don't have to play against pros all the time, you know? As long as that's a thing, they won't be affected by a lot of the changes that would actually get put into the game. But it would make the game significantly like healthier. You just have to be respectful. You don't just make like single-handed changes that just completely de like demolishes the casual community. You have to be respectful of both. But right now they're only being respectful of one. Is the view count count down? I think so. Yeah, I think uh, Apex Legends' entire category view count went down by over 80%. I think. And then part of respecting the competitive community is fixing glitches. Which is, uh, I think, their biggest weakness so far. I mean, the longbow change was really, really dumb, too. Not, like, adding, like, healing and circle changes and stuff like that. But those are, like, pretty easy changes that can come later. The game is just moving towards an unhealthy stage for the competitive environment. But, like, I don't know. Even, like, Dizzy, who just loved the game, right? It's, it's It kind of, like, it makes me depressed watching him. And just seeing, like, moments of him just, like, he wants to die. And he's trying to, like, not... <laughs> me. There's two teams here. Are you fucking serious? Fuck you guys, I'm pushing you, I don't care. God, that sound in here, the gun sounds fucking good. Oh, sick. The last one up top as well. Maybe I don't troll. I thought she was the last one actually. Yeah, it's good. just sad seeing Dizzy like playing and then he just like seeing the moments where he just hates this game and seeing him like every time he streams he tweets something about the game because he doesn't want to be like too harsh on it because he got a big opportunity from this game like I was a uh, I was streaming I've been streaming for years right and they gave me a big opportunity to grow absolutely but Dizzy had his like career made and he got a really big community or opportunity to start his streaming career and he's really thankful for that but seeing like the game that he loved that gave him this opportunity to just go down the drain and like hurt him when he plays is really depressing to see he probably feels really bad about like his growth being not only like stagnated because of the state of the game but the, the declining players of the game but also his motivation to be able to play the game like compared to me when i first popped off on like here? got thousands of viewers playing overwatch you know <laughs> i just grinded that shit that was playing ranked every fucking day i had ranked i had something to grind for it's fun to stream this game he's basically forced to play like league of legends quick play but with a bunch of problems and absolute like garbage balancing and like you know that can be fun but not for a competitive player he's played ranked and pugs you know and it's really hard he has a really good stream and like a really good viewer base and i think he has really like a great personality but as a streamer especially a competitive player who always strives for perfection and improvement dizzy probably feels like stressed about his average view count going from like 20k 16k to like 6 or 7k and those are sick ass numbers dude but when you're striving for perfection, man, you always push for perfection. And it's not like up to him, you know? It makes me kind of sad seeing from like my perspective because the game is letting him down. The developers are letting him down. No, he'll have a really good viewership regardless. He has a really nice fucking like personality. He, he popped off because he deserved it. The game gave an opportunity, but like doing variety, your viewership is always going to go down, right? That, it just happens unless you're like fucking Shroud or Lyric, you know, like the, the, the chosen few, you know? And I, he, he doesn't have like years of experience yet. And he probably feels bad about like not feeling motivated to stream Apex despite having Apex be the game that he got like known in, you know? And that's totally fine. Because I think he feels like he's letting like the viewers down that want to watch him play Apex. But the game like isn't at a stage where he can stream it.
Can't see anything through that bush. Not only have they not shown enough support about the competitive community, they haven't shown enough support about the game itself, that orgs are considering dropping their teams and players. And some of these players are people that I've known for like years who are getting an opportunity to show like what they're worth and stuff. And like every player who loved this game, have just started hating it because of the changes made. And it's depressing to see. It's depressing to see. When the core of the game is still so fucking fun to play. And I, I fucking love streaming this game. But playing the game, not the same, man. Not the same as it used to be. I guarantee you no one who plays this game on stream plays it off stream anymore. Because they just like... It's like a battery. It's like a battery where you don't want to like burn yourself out. So you don't want to play it too much. So even if you feel like streaming or playing, it's best you don't. You better save it. What the fuck you glitch? What the fuck? And like, you don't want to run out of battery. You can't play this game more than once a week or get stale. Fucking high ground camper. He really dropped down. Yeah, it is a one health cost, like, like half health maybe. Do you know how many Norex I got on that Pathfinder? Kind of insane. I'm just not as good as I used to be. That's probably true. I don't give a fuck about this game anymore. Like, I don't play to win. I don't play to get as many kills as possible. I don't play to. Get good stats. There are no account wide stats anyway. I don't play to get banners. I literally only play to get really stupid but cool, like sound effects or uh, plays. Like really stupid but cool clips. Like, wow, why would Mendo jump in 1v6 with a team with nothing but a fucking prowler in burst mode and then kill them all? That's what I'm looking for. 80, 80 99% of the time I'm gonna die though. <laughs>